welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is chloe and i sell things on ebay to earn a living today's video is going to be a sales video but with a little bit of a twist and um, i just want to quickly talk about offers best offers and offers to watchers and how it has impacted my sales most of the sales that i'm going to share today are either offers to watchers or because i've got best offer turned on um I don't know whether it is because of the current economic crisis, I guess, um, or just because it's the time, this time of year and it's obviously we're coming up to Black Friday and Christmas and people are looking for deals. So I don't know whether people are more likely to buy with an offer. I know that eBay are pushing the coupon codes and they want you to put offers on and they want you to send offers and to be quite honest i'm one of those people that kind of just i do as i'm told with ebay um because i try and please ebay as much as possible i know that you kind of fall into one or the other don't you category with it you either do everything ebay does to, like wants you to do sorry to keep it happy or you do absolutely nothing because you don't want to give them any more money and i understand both sides of it don't get me wrong because i get that the fees on ebay are high they take a lot of money from you but at the minute my sales are way too low to be worrying about that like i need sales <laughs> um so i promote all my listings i have started promoting them on a i always used to be a two percenter well i used to be a one percenter before they changed it now i'm a two percenter on absolutely everything but i started switching it up a little bit and i never do ebay suggested because i'm not gonna i'm not about to do like 16 percent on a pair of shorts um but i will do maybe one of one item two percent and then the next item i list maybe like 3.5 percent or i'm just playing about with it a little bit um but yeah i have started making sure i've got best offer on nearly everything in stock there's a few things that i obviously can't afford to take any less on and eventually I probably will if they don't sell because they're no good to me just sat there. I'd rather them sell for a little loss than not sell at all. Um, so yeah, offers. I've been sending out offers to watchers pretty much as soon as I get them. Um, I always used to like wait and let them stack up. But I've, ho I've found that like maybe the quicker you send them out, then people still have that impulsive like it's, you can kind of catch the impulsive buyers a little bit more i don't know whether it's really been working i've not massively seen a huge difference but i'm gonna show you my sales anyway um a lot of these are pretty bread and butter bill payers nothing exciting but i just want to show you how much of it is now either offers to watchers or accepting a best offer because most of it is now and if it wasn't for having those options then i probably would have made barely any sales so it's just something to consider i don't know whether it's just the time of year or whether it's just how things are on ebay now but it's just something it is food for thought so that is a long enough intro let's get into the video i've got 25 sales so i'm gonna fly through it like i said nothing is hugely exciting it's all just bill payers but i'm more than happy with that because it's a business isn't it at the end of the day also <laughs> i'm going to be looking over to the side because i'm looking at my computer screen just so you know first up is this monsoon grey cardigan now it's going to look different on the screenshot because it doesn't take into consideration offers i can't remember which way around it is whether i send out an offer or whether they accept an offer i think it's whether i send out an offer it doesn't make the change so it will say a different price but i am going to correct that this sold for 14 pounds plus a three pound 15 three pound 50 postage um, it's just like I said, monsoon wool blend cardigan. I paid £4 for it and it hovered around for quite a while to be fair. Hence why I was happy to take like quite a chunk of it. And that, like I said, was an offer again. Um, next up is this mint velvet. This went very, very quickly, but it, mint velvet sticks around for me really, 
really sticks around for me at the minute so i was happy for this to go out the door this went for 15 pounds and i paid three pound for it like i said get it gone happy that it's gone next up is this dorothy perkins cord pinafore style dress um in a size 16 so a good size i bought this from a pound sale so it like i said it cost me a pound and it went for 15 pounds so i was really happy with that it was a very very quick very quick flip then next we've got this white stuff this had loads and loads of interest i think it's because of the color and obviously it being called roy this is burnt like orange proper autumnal color i did contemplate keeping it because i am a sucker for autumn i love autumn and with this being that gorgeous burnt orange i really did want to keep it i think it's in one of my recent hauls because i didn't buy it that long ago um we paid four pounds for it and it went for 14 so not the best return but it went quite quickly but yeah i was very close to keeping it i'm glad i didn't now but i put it on vinted as well and it got so many offers on vinted of like 10 pound and i was like mm. so with ebay fees it probably would have been just the same selling it on vinted for 10 pounds and no fees i don't know Next up is this fat face t-shirt. I've had this listed for so long. I don't have that photo set up anymore. Um, this photo set up is in the bedroom and we don't we don't use that anymore. Um, this went for £12.99. However, it did go with a 10% off coupon. So I don't know whether it's showing on the screen as a different price. I'm not sure. Um, and like I said, I had it for ages. I think I paid £2 on this. I haven't got it actually written in my SKU for whatever reason but I wouldn't have paid more than £2 for just a fat face t-shirt. Uh, this was another very quick flip. I think I picked this up the same time as that white stuff corduroy skirt, because I've been trying really hard to pick up cord, because I love cord as well, like, I'm a sucker for cord. This is like a leaf print green dress in a size 12, and it went for £16. I probably could have got more for it, but I paid £4 for it, like I say, it was a quick flip. I am trying to up my sales at the minute because I just need I need the turnover. I need the money in quickly. So I'm taking lower profits for things to get them out the door quickly. Um, yeah, so I was happy enough with that. And again, it was an offer. <laughs> this Lindy Bop donut skirt. This was well cute. This was really, really cute. I paid £4.50 for it and it went for £15. I really, really liked this. It was so sweet. I don't really wear that kind of skirt and I definitely don't wear prints like that, but it, I was I, I wanted to keep it. Like, well, not I wanted to keep it, but you know, when you can just really appreciate something and really, really like something, it was like that with this. I really, really, really liked it. But yeah, it took a little while to sell, probably about three months-ish, maybe four. The shop that I bought it from actually no longer exists. Um, they I bought it from a mind and they've closed that down now. But they have replaced it with another charity shop, thankfully. And it's actually a lot better. So I can't really complain. Uh, next up is this AX Armani Exchange sequin top. This I paid £3 for and it's gone for £14. Nearly didn't pick it up, but I just thought I'd pick it up for around Christmas because it was only three quid. I was like, I'll, I'll buy it for Christmas time and it sold a little earlier than expected. £3 into 14 it's all right, it's okay. And as you can see again, it's gone on an offer. <laughs> like you will see with most of these items, they've gone on an offer because I'm sending out offers to watchers as soon as they become available so like i say i think i might be catching a few more impulse buyers next up is a pair of hobbs linen trousers i took quite a low offer on these these were up for something like 25 to 26 pounds it'll say on the screen and i accepted 18 pounds on these we were back and forth a few times this was somebody sent me an offer um i think they wanted them for 15 pounds and i accepted 18 in the end because i only paid three pound 50 for them and it's like the end of summer. I don't want them sticking around until next year. I mean, yes, somebody could definitely buy them, like, during autumn, winter. Like, linen can still sell. Summer items can, like, any seasonal items can still sell, not in that season. But it's just the chance of them selling is a bit lower. That doesn't necessarily mean you need to lower your prices because it's not a seasonal item. Keep your prices the same as you would in season 
but the chance of them selling is just going to lower a little bit but i just wanted these gone like i said i'm trying so hard to increase my sales at the minute so i just let them go for 18. next up is this kim and co i quite like kim and co if i can get it cheap enough this cost me £3.80. It did sell with a 10% off coupon. So it says £14.99, but it also sold with a 10% off coupon. So what's that, like £12.50? Something like that. £13.50? £12.50? I'm not very good at, fa at fast maths. <laughs> but yeah, that went not quickly, but it, was, it didn't hang around too long. Next up is this Long Tool Sally Owl top and this took ages to sell but it did sell eventually i paid three pound fifty and it went for 14 again an offer at 14 pounds please excuse my watch ping pinging um next is this Maasai dress and this one didn't go on offer <laughs> this was a full price sale which seems really really rare at the minute this went for 19.99. Maasai, I am pretty much done with, to be honest. I don't buy it unless it's really cheap and it's an okay size and I just think it will do okay. This was stripey and it was like in this greeny, beigey, khaki colour and I just thought the colour was quite nice. Size medium, kind of autumnal and it was three quid. So I thought I'd give it a go and it sold within its first cycle for 19.99. So maybe Maasai is okay it did go with the 10% off coupon code though so it might not say 19.99 on there next up is this wrap London um like kind of checked top it was a cotton top um we paid £3.50 for it and let it go for £12 which is a bit low to be fair um I looked back on this when I was looking through my solds earlier to like get these screenshots so I was like that's a little bit low but again, I'm guessing it must have been a low sales day and I'm trying to get those sales. It's a lot a stuck record, but I'm trying to get those sales. So yeah, I let it go for £12. And then there is this Jaeger blue drawstring linen skirt that went for £16.99 and we paid £4 for it. So for linen, like this, again end of season linen i'm happy that it's gone four pounds into 16.99 like more than happy with that this is a star julian mcdonald dress we paid three pound for this and it went for 17 pounds which i know is a lot less than what's on that screen um i think i listed it for 24.99 the only reason i listed it for 24.99 was because I was really unsure where to list it. I absolutely loved this dress. I thought it was a really nice transitional piece coming into autumn because it was that rust orangey colour. Um, like burnt orange, sorry. And I thought it was really, really nice. And I thought people going on holiday, but like obviously it's still being autumn. Like I, I thought it was really nice. So I went for $24.99. Excuse the dog playing the tambourine next to me. She's scratching her collar and we say she's playing a tambourine because it sounds uh it makes a lovely musical sound which is great at two o'clock in the morning um yeah we paid three pounds when it went for 17 this is my first piece of brora i have been reselling for four and a half years and this is my first piece of brora and it was just a jersey dress as well it wasn't like a, a nice wall piece but i was happy anyway to get it and it was in a size 18 and it sold literally within the first day or two i was really happy i had it listed for 30 and it sold for 26 pound 50 so really really pleased with that i think i paid seven pound on that and next up is this wallovers that's how what i call it wallovers i think that's how you pronounce it if i'm wrong let me know in the comments um this is a merino wool and cashmere long jumper this just wouldn't sell which is off again this just wouldn't sell um i only paid three pound for it and it went for 20 in the end but i've had it listed for ages like absolutely ages to be fair i don't think the pictures are very good i really don't think the pictures are very good like i say we don't have that set up anymore but yeah it stuck around for ages this all saints was another one that just would not sell i mean it was a size eight would i pick it up again 
to be fair i probably would <laughs> i'll say that i wouldn't but i probably would because it was brand new with tags um it was nine pounds it cost us nine pounds and it went for 38 in the end um i think i had it listed for like 50 or 45 i've had it listed anywhere i think i started at like 60 and just kept coming down but yeah it went for 38 so nine pound into 38 is it's okay but when you waited that long for it is it i don't know next up is a pair of next enhan waist enhancer high waist jeans uh these are a really good bread and butter look out for these you can usually find them really really cheap they were three pounds this pair but i found them on multiple pound rails before they went for 18 pounds these are in a size 10 i had them listed for 20 if you have them in bigger sizes they can go for like up to 25 pounds so it's definitely worth keeping your eyes peeled for those like i said the high waist waist enhancer jeans from next and then this is a white company cream is it cream i put cream in the title hopefully it's been delivered and they're happy with it because they left me good feedback so it must be cream um it's a woolen cashmere jumper and it had a floor on it like it had a little i can't remember what the floor was i don't know if it was a mark or something but i paid three pound and it's gone for 18 and they left me positive feedback so they're obviously happy with it floor and all this armani hat this bucket hat we've had it forever like forever it was listed for 30 pounds we paid five pounds ish from wholesale so it's been listed well over a year because i haven't bought wholesale in over a year um it could have been listed even like 18 months but we'll say over a year and it's gone for 20 pounds eventually i mean it didn't take up any space but still it was listed for a long time uh this fat face pair of cord crop trousers i definitely could have got more money for these but do you mind um yeah i didn't really know where to go with them being cropped so i listed them i think for 20 and they went for 17.50 in the end and i paid four pound on those and then this hobbs green and white striped top i paid five pound on this five pounds and i bought it probably two years ago maybe even two and a half years ago i have had it for ages so when I, I think I got an offer of £15, I snapped their hand off. I was like, yeah, I'll have it. Get rid of it. This Yankee Candle shade, it did come with a tray as well. I swallow my own hair. It came with a tray as well, but for some reason, when my husband photographed it, he decided to take photos of them separately and not together. So there is a photo of them, but they're separate. Um... But yeah, the shade and tray set went for £22. We paid £4 for it. It was actually really pretty and I've got good feedback already off that. So very happy. This, oh, right, I'm not even going to try and pronounce this brand. I bought two of these Polish pottery mugs at the same time for £1.50 each and they're both sold now. This one went for 13 I think the last one went for 15 So definitely keep an eye out for this brand because I paid £1.50 each. I don't know if I just said that um but yeah this one went for 13 pounds and they are beautiful they are so so nice they feel nice and substantial in your hands like if that makes sense um and they are just really really nice and they got loads of interest as well so keep an eye out for this brand when you're out and about and then finally was this jules horse print blouse i nearly didn't pick it up because it was only a size six but I just thought it was really, really cute and I couldn't leave it behind. And I like to pick up anything horsey related because it seems to sell really, really well. I find horses and cats, they just sell. I did pay £5 for it, but I also bought it like 18 months ago. So maybe I shouldn't have picked this one up because I say they sell really, really well, but it's taken over 18 months for it to sell. But I reckon that's because of the size. So I paid £5. It's gone for £15.99 which i can't remember whether that was the asking price or not but if it wasn't then the asking price will be on the screen so yeah that's the last thing i'm going to share with you today i hope that gave you a little bit of insight as to whether or not you should be using offers because as you saw from that a lot of my recent sales out of those 25 that i shared were from sending offers to watchers 
or accepting offers like i think there was maybe two or three in there that were full price sales so whether that's adding an extra few pounds to your listing so you've got the room or whether it's trying to source things at a lower price so that you've got the room in there so you've got the margin for it but it's definitely something that i think is worth considering because if i didn't have offers turned on or i wasn't willing to send out offers then i would have a lot less a lot less sales i mean yes with having offers turned on you do get some really really silly low offers don't ever decline them don't ever just decline the offers always send a counter offer like even if somebody's sending you an offer of like 20 pound lower than what you're willing to accept still let them know what you're willing to accept because then that gives them somewhere to go it gives them an idea of what you want for it and on the odd occasion it works on the odd occasion they're like oh okay fair enough that's what they want i was trying to be really cheeky i was trying to see how cheap i could get it but the thing is by you declining you're not giving them that chance and you're just declining what could potentially be a sale it might not be but if you're declining it you're not going to know so i know it's really easy to look at someone's offer and think uh like why are they sending me an offer of like four pound on a 17 pound dress like it's just rude don't just decline it because you think they're being an ass like counter it because you just don't know you just don't know so i'm gonna leave that video there i hope you found it a little bit helpful and it's given you a little bit of food for thought if you did find it helpful i would really really appreciate a thumbs up because there seems to be one or two people that seem to be giving every single one of my videos a thumbs down lately. I don't know why. Um, so if you could give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, subscribe for more of this kind of content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.